welcome back to my channel thank you so much for your subscription your comments your contribution thank you for giving us the opportunity to grow together and i really want to appreciate each and every one of you and in case you are a new subscribers please don't forget to share comment like and turn on the notification bell so that you can be among the first people that will receive our notification whenever we upload a new video and in the video you are about to watch is the miracle that happened within the week where apostle went to minister outside the country which i believe is going to really bless you in no small way and the other one is going to be a testimony shared in one of the colonial service that really touched me which i believe that god is still in the business of working miracle god is still in the business of putting things in order for us please don't forget to share comment and like God bless you. I'll see you. Look at this. Listen, listen, sorry to take your time. How many of you saw this woman yesterday? Look at this. My God. You see, listen. When God does this, it is not to glorify Joshua Selman, it's to glorify his name. And the Lord walking with them, confirming the word with signs following. Congratulations. She's crying. What he said came to him. Can someone celebrate Jesus one more time? You're welcome. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. Yes. So on Thursday, on Thursday in the afternoon, I stepped out to, do, to check something in my car. It was quite unstable. So I told my wife that, please, let me check something in the car. So I drove out. So I drove around town. I got somewhere. Then I decided to return back home. On returning back home, Someone flagged me down to just help him to get forward. So I looked at him, he was well dressed. I said, okay, let me just help him. On opening the door, he got in. When he locked the car, he saw that it was quite a nice car. And um, the inside is tinted. He put the car off immediately. On putting the car off, I said, ah, what did they occur? Ah, you asked for help to reach downwards, and I'm helping you. He said, I should just calm down and respect him. Ah, I said, all right, no problem. So I was calm. I relaxed. I had not known what was happening. And in a matter of minutes, about three other guys had opened the door and entered the car. So when they entered the car, I looked at them. I said, what, what is this? I turned and I saw the very fierce, angry-looking face. So the other one told them that they should drop me and um, I should come out from the driver's seat. So someone else went to drive and they led me to the back seat. I sat on the back seat and they drove off. I had not understood what was happening. It was while they were driving off and I began to get their language. I said, ah, oh boy, now then be this will work us of iniquity. <laughs> so they drove, they drove, they were going. It was when they started driving my car in a very rough way. Panic attack struck. My heartbeat had already gone, I think, in 150. It was beating hard and I was afraid I won't lie. But in that state of fear, I knew settled in me that I won't leave this, I won't leave this city. No matter what will happen, I won't get out of this city. So as my heart was still panicking, I told myself to calm down. I told myself to calm down. They kept discussing how, what they were going to do, the plans of the car and all that. I was still going. In that motion, and they were speaking their language in a very, very, with very high intonation that you cannot suspect what God did. Here comes the wisdom of the Lord. He spoke to me and said, someone here speaks my language. 
So I spoke my language out loudly. I said, where are you taking me to? Then the person in front turned and looked at me. He looked at me so downcasted, like, ah. He asked me, do you speak this language? Do you learn this language or this is your language? I said, it's my language. I brought out my ID card to prove to him, my middle name, that this is my language. It's me. So he looked and said, ah, Kai, Kai. He can't take my brother to where I'm going to. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See the wisdom of God at work. So he said he can't take his brother to where they are going to. Then the other guys behind, they got angry and they got furious. Stop that thing, stop that thing. And he told them to keep quiet. I said, I can't take him. So when they were arguing, he now said that, but he cannot just leave me like that. I should give him something. That how much do I have there? And I said, I had 10,000 naira. He, he turned and looked at me with anger. He hissed and said, drive off, drive off. Ha. I said, oh, this thing is serious. So. <laughs> So he asked me that, what is my profession? I said, pastor. I said, ah, so pastor, you go see today. <laughs> so we kept driving, and I said, okay, how much do you want? He said, how much can I give? And I said, I'll give you 50,000 naira. He looked and said, I should add something. He said, 60,000 naira. <laughs> now we are driven out. <laughs> so he told the guy driving that drive to, to the nearest POS that we can see. So they took my ATM card for me. They drove to the nearest POS. And he took the ATM and told me to impute. He said, calm down. When you go out, don't act rash. Just follow and everything will be fine. I said, all right, no problem. I imputed my password and uh, my PIN, sorry. And they took what they wanted. And they still got into the car and started driving off. The anger increased. The intensity was high. They were angry. They were battling. So he received the call that they've gotten someone else. So when they received the call that they've gotten someone else, and I said, okay, let them drive me back. So they drove me back into the town and took me back to Area 10. When they got to Area 10, they said that, all right, this is what they will do. They will get out. But when they get out, I shouldn't open the door. From the back seat, I should move into the front seat. I should go. At this time, my hands were still shaking. Despite the wisdom of God that delivered me. <laughs> so when I got into the car, I held the steering. This was around 2, 8, 2 p.m. I mean, broad daylight. I held the steering, I drove off, I drove off, I drove to op uh, go to opposite DOA and I'm packed and I began to sing, sing the message of the Lord. It's not by any kind of wisdom, it's not by any kind of spiritual intelligence, it is just the sure message of God that I have entered into the hands of this evil man and he spared my life, he took me out, spared my life, spared my car, that I will return to my wife who was expecting me to come back home. Praise the Lord. Koinonia, can we celebrate? the show mercies thank you so much for watching this video i believe your faith is lifted and i believe that you still believe that not all miracles are staged i believe god is still working miracle god bless you and see you on our next video shalom